everybody. My name is Megan Cleary. Um, I teach foods and nutrition and advanced foods and nutrition at Community High School District 218. Um, today I am going to make you a smoothie. Uh, this is a very simple recipe that any of your high school kids can do. Now more than ever, it's really important that we're getting lots of vitamins and nutrients to make sure that we keep our immune systems in top working order. A smoothie can have other ingredients besides the ones that I'm going to use right now, but uh, it's a good recipe that you can just kind of mix and match and play with. I make these for my kids all the time and they think that they're getting a treat, like an ice cream treat, but really it's just fruit and yogurt and a little bit of milk. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose which fruit I'm gonna use. So my kids, they usually like banana in theirs and so I always keep bananas on hand. When they get extra ripe and they're starting to turn brown and nobody wants to eat them anymore, I peel them and then I throw them in the freezer and then I have frozen overripe bananas for smoothies and they're actually sweeter when they're overripe. So it actually makes the whole smoothie a little bit sweeter in general. All right, so I'm making two smoothies today because I have two kids and they both want a smoothie right now. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to just put a whole banana into my blender. And then they are tropical fruit kind of kids. So I buy these big bags of tropical fruits at Aldi. And they're really cheap and it's frozen. So it's better than using ice cubes because it has a lot more flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle in some mango. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pineapple. And... That's my kid's favorite combination, the tropical fruit, banana, pineapple, mango blend. All right, so I don't have any vanilla yogurt. That's what I would typically use, but um, I don't have any, and I'm not going to the grocery store for just vanilla yogurt, so I have a little bit of strawberry yogurt on hand. I'm gonna just go ahead and put a couple scoops of the strawberry yogurt in here. And if I tried to mix this up right now, it would be way too thick, so I'm gonna add some milk. Now, if you don't have milk at home or you're lactose intolerant, you can use juice. That's fine, too. All the vitamins and nutrients in here are gonna keep your immune system in tip-top shape. Plus, it's got a lot of vitamin D from the dairy products that I'm using, so that keeps your immune system going strong, too. It's gonna to get loud for a second. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna pulse it just a little bit until everything breaks up. And as soon as everything starts to get broken up, I'm gonna let it run until it's nice and smooth. The frozen fruit in here is gonna act like the ice cube, so it'll be nice and cold and thick. The thickness of the banana adds to the thickness too. All right, so it looks like all of the chunks are out in the blender is running smoothly. So I'm going to grab two cups for my kids. All right, I have two cups. I'm going to split it between the two of them. Hopefully there'll be a little extra for myself after I give the kids their portion. And looks like there's none left for me. That's okay. I have ingredients to make more. So I'm going to give them EJ straw. And they are going to have an immune-boosting, heart-healthy smoothie. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, everyone.